our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com baroblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visite suprememastertv.com barra inclinada y schedule. Ma caricamalo and the justunai, an eka bachelor, digest chudendi, suprememastertv chukakam, edru slash schedule. meditating and being vegan it's it has changed my life for the better it has made me a better actress a better human being a better mother a better friend and everything else so be vegan and make peace on acting and spirituality. Spanish actress, Mrs. Ter Mendes, vegan, part two of two. Continue watching to find out more. Hola, that's hello in Portuguese, the official language of the Republic of Mozambique. Gracious viewers, I'm Armando, the warm-hearted people of the Republic of Mozambique pray for your good health, happiness, and protection. Welcome to our program on acting and spirituality. Spanish actress Miss Esther Mendez, vegan, part two of two. Miss Esther Mendez graduated with honors from the European University of Madrid and a trained artist from the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in London. She has brought many characters to life, both on stage and in films. Her soulful performance in the Spanish feature film Matar el Tiempo, or Killing Time, spoke to the hearts of many people, and she was invited to be a guest on the award-winning Spanish TV program, Profiling Films, Version Española. In real life, Esther is an environmentalist, animal lover, vegan, and spiritual practitioner who actively promotes what she believes in. What prompted her to become a vegan and how does her diet affect her life as a performance artist? I became vegan when I was studying at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts. When I was in film school, before that I was already changing into vegetarianism. I did it naturally as an instinct and because I didn't want to eat meat and, you know, I liked the animals and I just felt better eating that way, right? So, uh, thanks to God's blessings, I went to a vegan restaurant um, at the end of my first year. There was a waiter who answered all my questions about veganism and the health benefits. He was also a nutritionist and I was like, okay, well, that's it. I'm going vegan, right? So in the rest of my training, I could experience also the heart benefits. That is like I have an, a more open heart because I'm not eating dead animals. I'm not eating the emotions that are in the dead bodies of animals. So that makes me more open to express myself, more open to even cry if I have to cry, but to be happier as well. I became happier and lighter and also, I could think faster and clearer and improvise better. And I also understood what is right in life. You know, what's the right direction? Um, what are God's commandments or God's precepts? And how we are meant to be good human beings on this earth. And, you know, continue growing in, in love and wisdom and do our best to help others and to help ourselves. And to be an actress, this is very important. Acting is not about myself. Acting is about my acting partner and everybody else in my scene. Esther later learned about the Kuan Yin method of meditation from Supreme Master Ching Hai, which connected her with the inner heavenly light and sound. We asked Esther how this meditation affected her life. It recharges me, it gives me inspiration, 
um, it gives me a reason to continue in life and to to have a higher goal to save to save animals, you know? For me, this is really meaningful. And this is all thanks to Supreme Master Ching Hai, to her teachings, to veganism, and to the spiritual practice that we follow, which is the Kuan Yin method of meditation. So yes, definitely, meditating and being vegan, it's, it has changed my life for the better. It has made me a better actress, a better human being, a better mother, a better friend, and, everything else. So be vegan and make peace. Despite her busy schedule, raising her lovely daughter and meditating daily, Esther always finds time to help promote veganism. Why is this so important for her? I promote veganism in the world because it is the right way to live. And I think everybody knows that in their hearts and in their souls. And also, vegans live longer and healthier lives. And I'll say also happier lives, because when you are sick, how can you be happy? But then it's also what's good for me. It's also good for others, like the animals. There is no reason whatsoever why anybody needs to kill an animal. What for? For me, that is wrong. Killing another animal another living being that has a soul and that has feelings and intelligence and that also has a family. And then also because it is, um, the meat industry is one of the biggest cause of the global warming. If you've seen documentaries like Cowspiracy or, or What the Health, you might know what I'm talking about. And that's why promoting veganism for me, it's a priority. It is urgent that people go vegan now and today. Esther has been involved in a number of events promoting veganism. For example, she worked as the English-Spanish translator, interpreter, and interviewer during the filming in Spain of a segment from the documentary about climate change and veganism called Eating Our Way to Extinction. So when I first heard of the documentary Eating Our Way to Extinction, I saw a short clip to advertise for the movie and I was blown away by the beauty of the images and how it was so poetic. It was a documentary, but I would say it is a piece of art. I knew who the filmmaker was, one of the directors, Otto Brockway. So I emailed him and I told him, I love to be a part of the documentary and do you have um, any position that is free for me to work in the documentary? And at that time it was all already filled. So, but months later, Ludo, his brother, was coming to film in Spain, a part of the documentary. He realized that unfortunately some Spanish people still don't speak English and that they will need some help with that. He contacted me and he asked me if I could help out and I said, of course, you know, and I can go to the, to the uh, shooting with you. I can go to whatever you need to go in Spain and just interpret and translate and help out with whatever is needed. So I was really um, mesmerized by the experience, especially meeting part of the, the crew, uh, meeting Ludo Brockway and Paul and uh, Ludo's brother Milo. Um, and they are all vegans, right? So I just felt like they were my brothers as if I, I have known them from past lives. It was like instant connection and um, a lot of brotherly, sisterly love and just like, wow, these people are saints, they're heroes. Now they're editing the documentary and it, it will be released soon worldwide and I did pray for them because I knew they're risking their lives when they're going out shooting to certain dangerous areas and even to get some images of the farmed animals in the USA, well, they risked their lives and I was so touched by their love and by their generosity and they did it out of love. <laughs> Nothing can pay what they are doing.
Moreover, Esther hosted a dance show called Wild, Dancing for Endangered Species, which was aired on Supreme Master Television in March 2018. Esther has participated in many local events in Spain that help promote the fast-growing world vegan movement. The last thing I did was to give a talk at the first vegan fair in Almería, in Spain. They invited me because they wanted me to talk about my experience as a vegan mother. Something else I did was to go to the first vegan fair in Madrid. It was called Veggie World. And there I went with some friends and we were um, talking about Supreme Master Television. And we were also talking about the benefits of the vegan diet and for health, animals and the environment. And I was very touched by how many people are already more conscious and they're already vegan. And I really thought, wow, the world is improving. Thank you, Supreme Master Ching Hai and Supreme Master Television. And thank you, everybody else out there who is working for veganism to make a, a better world. So the next invitation I have is to host a vegan short film festival in Almería, Spain. And it is the first one that they're doing. The winners will get some prizes, but especially there will be pieces of art and documentaries put out there for people to continue to get informed about the benefits of veganism. We asked Esther, what is her dream in the future? and how she thinks it can be realized. My dream for the future is to have world vegan world peace. This is Supreme Master Ching Hai's dream, and I completely agree with her. I would like to see heaven on earth. It's just, heaven is possible, but we decide what we create in this lifetime. So if we decide to do good, to be vegan, to make peace with humans and animals alike, you know, everything will improve. And like we said, if likes, like begets like, then do good and your life will be good. And then if everybody does that around them, then the whole, the whole world will be peaceful and loving and happy. It's just what I wish for my daughter, for myself, for my family, for my loved ones, and for everybody else, animals, nature, humans, the planet Earth. It's just what we should do. And I know all souls know it. I know all of you have God inside of you, and all of you know what's the way to go. So be vegan and make peace. For more information on Miss Esther Mendez, please visit facebook.com forward slash Esther Mendez BC. Benevolent viewers, we hope you have enjoyed our program today on acting and spirituality. Spanish actress Miss Esther Mendez, vegan, part two of two. Up next is The Goldman Family, Eat the Change You Wish to See, part one of two, right after Noteworthy News. May all the beautiful dreams of peace and harmony come true as we evolve ever closer to a vegan heaven on earth. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash AJAR.